And our next guest played 15 seasons, Blazers, Spurs, Nets. He made seven All-Star teams, was selected to five All-NBA teams. Also had one of the toughest turnaround jumpers to guard in recent memory. <laughs> LaMarcus Aldridge, welcome to the jump. We're so thrilled to have you. Thanks for having me. So fun. And, and look, it was a shock to all of us when you had to retire due to health complications. <clears throat> so first and foremost, just how are you feeling? How has it been since you had to step away from the court? I'm doing good. I'm just going through testing every day, you know, just to make sure that, you know, everything's okay. But I'm actually doing good right now. How difficult was it? to make that decision because I think every athlete knows that hey something could happen to me that I don't expect but you expect it to be an injury right and here all of a sudden you get this piece of medical information and it's in front of you that you might have to retire mid-season uh it's still hard <laughs> but uh you know it's tough you know um you know I think at some point you know in your career you, you know you got to pick your health and your family first so uh you know I think that it was my time, you know, it was definitely tough because I feel like that team uh, needed what I brought to the table. You know, mm -hmm. they were uh, excited to have me there on that team and, you know, I was having fun. So it was extra tough. Uh, my question is, you know, obviously leaving the team, have you been following them or any of your other former teams? <laughs> have you been following them in the playoffs? <laughs> Yeah, I've been following Brooklyn for sure. Uh, you know, I've been texting with the coaches and stuff, you know, trying to say what I see, you know, trying to, uh, you know, trying to put on my, my coaching hat mm -hmm. now. But, you know, all those guys were great guys. They were all, you know, happy to have me. I, you know, I felt, you know, very embraced, you know, in, in my, my uh, short time there. So I'm definitely following those guys. You, you talk about short times, but how about a long time? <laughs> you had a long time with the Portland Trailblazers. <laughs> how honored would you be when they put that one two up in the Raptors, up there with, you know, the Jerome Curses, the Clyde Drexels, how happy would sure. you be? Man, I mean, you know, uh, first of all, I think, you know, anyone getting their jersey retired is a, you know, a, a huge honor. But, you know, it would be great for me. You know, that's where, you know, it all started for me. That's where I, I you know, I made my name and, you know, I became an all star. And, you know, I, you know, I actually became that, that uh, go to guy there. So it would be awesome for me, you know, if it does happen because, you know, that, that place is, you know, definitely, you know, one of my, you know, uh, favorite members for sure. I love that Dame Lillard came out the day after you stepped away and said, uh, let me make this clear. This man's jersey needs to go up right away. Yeah, that was sure. just really fun. Welcome back to The Jump presented by Dell. I'm Rachel Nichols, still joined by Vince Carter, Robert Ori, and LaMarcus Aldridge. All right, guys, let's get to Nuggets Blazers. That series out west is cooking. After losing game one, the Nuggets rebounded, took game two. Nikola Jokic had 38 points, five assists, only one assist in the previous game. So, LaMarcus, as a big who had to deal with Jokic yourself, why do you think they are having so much trouble with him, especially in that game two? Uh, it's tough. Um, he's such a good playmaker that you, uh, you know, want to try to force him to score. But if he's, you know, uh, scoring like he's doing now, it's, it's kind of tough to, you know, just let him go for 40. So... He's very versatile, so I think that's why, you know, he's, you know, the, you know uh, possibly uh, MVP because he's, you know, he, he does it all, pass, score, and rebound. It is amazing. Vince, if you were in that Portland locker room, what would you tell teammates to do to slow Jokic down? Well, you, you want to stick to what was working, and they, they made him score and mm -hmm. score often, and he had one assist. Uh, in the game I mean, one, yeah. Yeah, in game one. In game two, he had five assists. Yeah, five assists, and he, he has 16 triple-doubles on the year, mm -hmm. and when he's distributing the ball, even if it's the hockey assist, yeah. he's getting everybody involved and giving everyone the opportunity, which opens the game up for him to score, rebound, and assist. So, you know, they had five guys in, in double figures because of the ball movement from Jokic, and he creates a lot of disruption to defenses because he moves the ball and distributes. So uh, you want to just stay home on guys and let him play one-on-one, -on -one, tire him out, and put him in pick and roll on the other end, and that may help. You know, when Jokic yeah. always likes to bring the ball up, send a little and make him give it up or make him turn, try to wear him out like you said. But also with Jokic, Jokic is one of those guys, he figures your defense out. You go back and look at his playoffs in every series, he takes what you did in that first game. So, oh, you thought it worked? All right, I'm going to change my game up. So with him is I will come with a defense uh, scheme every night to keep him on his heels and keep him thinking because he's too smart of a player to just keep throwing the same defensive scheme at. All right, Lamar, because these are your guys. Dame, CJ, what do you think is going to happen in the rest of this series? 
It's going to be tough, you know, because, you know, uh, Dame's playing at a very high level, you know, and those guys are going to fight to the end. So I think it's definitely going to go back and forth. Uh, they're going home, you know, with fans in the building now. So, you know, they, they should definitely get the next one. Well, we will see what happens. I love that series. I think it's really evenly matched and really fun to watch. And LaMarcus, you were very fun to watch. I'm so glad we have you <laughs> back in our NBA world here. Thank you so much for, for sure. joining us today and yes, glad to hear all Thank is healthy and well with you and your family also. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.